Thursday here at a forum for comics at uh, Awesome, awesome Con. Con 2019. And we're here with TJ and uh, an artist, creative, writers as well. That's right. Uh, could you tell us uh, more about your comic right now to, in your work? Absolutely, I'd love to. My name is TJ Sterling of Ray Comics and uh, my uh, flagship title is Okamus. It's a uh, sci-fi martial art action story about a young kid of color that has an incredible superhuman ability essential to save the human race. And he's being pursued by warriors in the future that actually want to steal that power for themselves. I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but I'd love for you to check out the series, see what's going on. Yeah. Um, and again, um, we actually have four books in the series right now. We've got issue zero, one, number two, and then number three for purchase. Yeah. Issue four is actually going to be out in July in just a few months. Yeah, definitely check out his comics. I have a few questions because I'm excited. This is my first interview with a creator. Hey, let's you know, do it. So what made you, uh, what inspired you to make your character or what draw, draw you to making your character, your, your, this comic book? Yeah. Absolutely. The inspiration became behind my character was really just um, kind of a necessity, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I personally grew up not seeing enough representation in yeah. the comic book store yeah. and I always loved sci-fi, time travel, action, martial arts. So I wanted to make a comic that was cool that we could all relate to that but had all those elements kind of just put into it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. That's, that's, that's awesome. And um, how often, like when, as a creator myself, because I do like sketch comedy and improv. Yeah, yeah. When you, uh, how often do you practice your write, your your writing or art? Is that every day or? It's an everyday thing. Yeah, you, yeah. you never stop working at what you're doing. Because even yeah. if, let's say, we just all have those days when we just don't feel like doing something. Like yeah. it's one of those tiring days where we just got home from work, whatever, and you kind of want to just chill and Netflix or you yeah. know catch up on a series or whatever. But on those days, you got to be doodling, got to be writing, got to be doing whatever it is, yeah. even if it's in a small increment. You know what I'm saying? Because we're all going to have peaks and valleys. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You just got to make sure that you're consistently on that marathon and you're never stopping. You know what yep. I'm saying? Never stopping. Hard work, dedication. That's yeah. right. Yep. And. Um, is this your first con, or how many have you been to? Um, well, I've been professionally making comics and going to conventions since 2015. I average between 10 and 15 conventions a year. Wow. Um, so I'm traveling, you know, six to seven months out of the year, every year. Tiring, but extremely rewarding because I get to meet people like you and also and they're not with the fans. Um, also, I would say uh, it's my first time at Awesome Con. So, like, the energy in this particular building yeah. and the people are way different than any other show I've been to. It's definitely a show I'll be back at, you yeah. know, in the, the future, for sure. Cool. Well, shoot, that's all the questions I got for today. And I'll just want uh, to, hold on one second. Oh, we yep. got another question. Yeah, yeah, I got one more question. Hey, yes, sir. So, are you a martial artist, too? Yeah, I yes, I am. I actually did martial arts for 12 years, Shidokan Karate. Really? So, it's also wow. part of my makeup as a person. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to respect, when yeah. it comes to uh, diligence, all that stuff, it's all within there. You know yeah. what I mean? I just learned this week that uh, yeah. this means uh, make peace, not war, right? That's right. Peace That's why it's usually war. followed by a bow, you know, yes. of some sort. You know yes. what I mean? So that was, that was great. So yeah. I'll end it that way, this way. I can't. Go ahead. Uh, so so that's you on the show too as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, this is also, uh, he, he goes by hey, hey, War, Machine, War, Machine. War Machine. War Machine, let's go. I'm gonna, I, I ain't gonna call him Big Black. But yeah, is, War Machine, <laughs> be good. Now, uh, uh, for your uh, martial arts, is that yes. how you get inspiration from the characters and, you know, to get you your, you know, your vision of how to move forward? Or? Absolutely. I mean, again, um, because martial arts I did for over a decade and it was part of who, my growing up as, because I started when I was like 12. Yeah. So, I mean, I finished right in my early 20s and I haven't picked it up recently, but again, it's just part of who I am as a person. And really, again, like there's a credo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In martial arts of every kind, there's like, again, there's respect, yep. there's diligence, there's consistency, there's all these things, those values that help you become successful as an adult. So I always recommend young kids to do it yep. because it's so important, you know what I'm saying, as that foundational element. Yeah, I agree. I yes, definitely sir. agree. I, felt, well, I did Taekwondo for like, only for six months because yeah, yeah. life got crazy. Well, but Michelle. in that six months, I learned the balance, you know what I mean? So, like you said. Thank okay, you. Taekwondo thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. We don't, they don't call that martial arts. They call that sports. So all anyway, right, sports. Okay. <laughs> hey, all right. That's okay. <laughs> I'll take all the smoke. It's all right. Uh, but please, no but yes. uh, it's an honor, and I definitely yes, it's an honor. Uh, yeah. appreciate, I appreciate you, you doing this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, especially coming out here. Are you going to go to BlurCon, too? Or? I will be at BlurCon. So, awesome. we do a follow-up interview, and I'll have another book. Issue yes. 4 okay. of the series will be at BlurCon, so we yep. can talk about about that then awesome. yep That's and uh one more we're gonna have all of his information down in the link in the description below we're gonna have a link to your your comics and also just subscribe to his his page go ahead go go ahead and buy his book that's buy what I'm everything. saying. Buy everything. Sell me out. I, yes. I want to get rid of everything. Please. 
Yep. Uh, once again, thank you for this interview. My pleasure. This was absolutely this was great. Yes, sir. Yep. Thank you. Oh, <laughs>